Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you would like to get a personal reading with me. There is a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and it'll take you to my website. Um, so yeah, welcome to the new members. We have Marge Romard Galvin, I believe that's how you say your name. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And uh, thank you guys for the super chats. Super, super awesome. Okay, so let's get into this reading and see what is going on. What else does Virgo need to know in their love life? What is the drama now? The next episode of Virgo's love life. Okay, you're starting with clock. Um, stabbed in the back. Okay, what's going on? And a love call. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, well, someone's going to reach out, Virgo, of course. Maybe they're going to reach out again, um, or for the first time in a long time, okay? Or somebody could be, it could be somebody new um, expressing that they're thinking of you. Um, I do feel like there's an energy of, um, well, clock is here, like, this has to do with time, um, progress, like, that it feels like timing almost like divine timing um there's some kind of separation here that's happening now that could be you and another person are separated or somebody else is separated from someone but we're gonna take a look and see so let's see ten of wands what's going on here okay no i do feel like somebody's gonna reach out to you they feel like they don't want to be in separation from you um they've been waiting i hear somebody okay they just said somebody's been waiting to hear from you and uh, they don't hear from you so now they're going to initiate some type of love call or phone call or any kind of call uh just kind of like hey i was just thinking of you how's everything going how have you been um it's a message of love that kind of energy so that ten of wands I feel like someone is this is too much of a burden to bear is to wait anymore um, you might get a call sometime around nine nine o'clock from someone or hear from someone around nine I just heard a.m. or p.m. but uh, these are two tens right in a row so uh, somebody might be they've been Okay, I just heard they've been on the clock. They've been very busy on the clock, maybe working, needed to finish something. Um, they feel a lot of pain or heartbreak because I, I just see somebody like being very busy and maybe keep checking their phone to see if you called or texted. And, you know, now they're finished something or they're done with something. And uh, they're like, okay what's going on why have not why have i not heard from virgo what's going on so ten of cups right there coming in to try to realign with you okay let's see what else is going on here mm, yeah there you go eight of wands lots of communication coming in from this person lots of movement rapid action speed trying to manifest you quickly get you on the phone get some kind of response um, air, this could represent air travel so perhaps there's like making plans for a trip okay or going somewhere together um, hmm, something's gonna something's gonna change I feel like there's a lot of stress and anxiety maybe more so like stress with the ten of wands um, they feel burdened um, heavily burdened and I, I just see somebody trying to reconnect with you or, to, or just to connect with you this month the rest of this month let's take a look so a lot of cupid's arrows a lot of communication passionate communication oh look the queen of swords is back so it could be an air sign gemini it could be a libra it could be another virgo um it could also be aquarius but yeah this person wants to talk to you um direct communication something about travel perhaps and it could even be about being in a relationship um 
getting into a relationship with them. Okay. It's masculine or feminine. All right. There's 10. Or not the 10. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Um, somebody's coming in here to make a change. They're making some kind of change in a relationship with you. Um, somebody's going to tell you that you're like their good luck charm or something along the lines of like you know we're, we're fated to be together there's a king of cups there so it could be a, a water sign as well or it could be a uh, aquarius and now that's twice so you and this person having some kind of conversation about moving something forward yeah there's the nine of swords so that's what i was saying some stress and anxiety this person's mental stress and anxiety is taking a physical toll on them i feel like somebody really misses you so i do i will tell you you're going to hear from someone definitely this person i don't know if they feel abandoned that's kind of what i was saying like they kept checking their phone to see if you were going to reach out while they were busy yeah, well, i guess you didn't there was nothing there and they get pushed to start communicating with you. Something to do with a relationship, making a change. Like a turning point in a relationship happens. Okay. Mostly because this person is, I don't know, what did you do Virgo? Let me see, why aren't you communicating with this person? Why is Virgo not communicating with their person? Hmm. Page of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. Looks like maybe you have. Looks like you have communicated with somebody. Uh, maybe you just kind of kept it really simple um, in your communication with someone. I don't see. I feel like you have communicated with someone. Uh, that Maybe they didn't get it or they didn't get the call. Let's see. Or maybe you, this person might feel like you didn't communicate enough. It looks like you were. Looks like you did. You did talk to them. You were open. So either they didn't get any, they didn't receive anything from you or something didn't go through, perhaps. Something along those lines. Hmm. Hmm. Virgo, this is a little confusing. What happened? Why why didn't this person get any receive anything from Virgo? Why didn't this person receive anything from Virgo? Huh, okay. They were all right, they just said they were out of service area. Not sure what that means. They were out, I mean, they were outside. They were out of, maybe they didn't have Wi-Fi or they were out of, um, they were out of town. Some were maybe up in the mountains or something, out of town. They couldn't, they didn't receive it. So it's something didn't go through. They were, they were away working or something didn't go through. So they're under the impression or they were that you maybe weren't interested or you just weren't they think you didn't reach out they think you didn't say anything or you just left they think you abandoned them hmm. well that's really interesting let's see so wow the devil card what the heck is going on here why is the devil card here Oh man, this is triggering. This person is like completely triggered. It, it's caused them to be like immensely obsessed with you. Hmm. And they, it looks like they're trying to kind of balance themselves. Like trying to stay cool is what I mean. Like they're trying to stay cool, but they can't. So they're going to reach out to you and tell you like, Oh, it's crazy. It, it's just a misunderstanding is what I think is happening here. But to them, it's not a misunderstanding. To them, you left or you weren't interested or you're not or you just weren't pursuing. 
So now they're going to start pursuing you. Show me this. Show me this devil card. Because this person is like, co I think they're codependent. Like they can't. Codependent. Oh my gosh, there's the Empress. What the hell is going on with all these major arcanas? This person's like, <laughs> I just heard, I don't know what this means. I just heard mother figure or father figure. I don't know what this means. I mean, this, they think that you are so, um, like, accomplished and, and just very, you know, either, well, they're just very attracted to, I'm good, I feel like seeing a feminine energy, which would be very yin, and that doesn't pursue, that's the kind of energy that doesn't pursue, that your value has gone up to this person, and it's all just a misunderstanding, because it looks like you, you did try to reach out, or you did respond, like you, it looks like you have been available, or it's just open and available but they they think no they didn't get the message they didn't get the call they were distracted by something they've been locked into something hmm okay yeah this person has you on a pedestal like they're obsessed with you well at least becoming that way okay hmm that's interesting. That is very interesting. The Ace of Cups is in the reverse. This person feels totally lost. Empty. Oh my gosh. That's why they're coming at you. That's why they're reaching out. Oh my gosh. Where is Virgo? Virgo left. What's going on? They feel stabbed in the back. Like betrayed. Like you, st you separated from them. Maybe you did, Virgo. I don't know. Or maybe you just kept, you know, with the Page of Cups, any communication with this person just very simple. But, you know, when I was asking, it looked like you did reach out and you really didn't get anything in return. And maybe you thought they ghosted you. Yeah. So now there's like some kind of fight or conflict or something happened. And it feels, and I've never done a reading like this, but it feels to me like there was a misunderstanding or miscommunication. So you're going to hear from them. And they're going to say to you, oh, you know, I'm just thinking about you. I miss you. And if you thought that they ghosted you, your reaction, I feel like it's going to be like, why is this person reaching out to me now? When I reached, they ignored me. I, what are they playing games? And I don't feel like that's what's going on. <laughs> Maybe you sent them something. They didn't respond. But they're like totally, <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so disappointed. They're so in like grief. And I think you might be, let me take a look at your energy, Virgo. What's going on with you? All right, there you are, King of Pentacles. You, you, you're a bit cold. You're, you're stoic. You're focused on your work. You're just like, it's whatever. Let me see, hold on, I dropped a card. Always dropping cards, Jesus. Hmm. So the Eight of Swords, it fell on the ground just like that. So, yeah, Virgo, this is kind of like releasing negative thoughts here. Yeah. It looks like you just said, "Oh, all right, I just ex I'm accepting the situation." They 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 ghosted me, or they they don't want to talk to me, or, or something. You just stabilized yourself in some way let me see hmm ace of wands just like all right there's other opportunities or maybe there'll be another opportunity i can't believe the queen and the king of swords are showing up here they were here yesterday so You're taking on this head over heart energy, you know, like not getting very emotional about something here um, in regards to them not receiving some kind of communication from you, which that was on their end. Yeah, there was a block. That was on their end. Why they didn't um, 
there was some problem okay so they're going to be reaching out to you oh yeah look see you thought maybe they just ended it with you or they like there was they're definitely look there's definitely some heartache on both sides for sure and it all i feel like has to do with time um lack of um you know we're in this mercury retrograde my god i keep forgetting about that and that that causes all this to happen <laughs> that causes all this to happen every single time there's miscommunication with you know technology things not going through and they tell you all the time when you're going through the mercury retrograde be careful with messages may not go through things might get a little wonky digitally electronically that's what I feel like has happened here. So there's a total misunderstanding. So when this person calls or reaches out to you, you know, um, what should Virgo do? When this person calls and reaches out, okay, see, there you are. <laughs> this is my ghosting card. There you are, Virgo. Like, why did you ghost me? There needs to be communication. This, this Seven of Cups is often like not being not being secure this is more like fantasy like Im imaginings and thoughts and and dreams and searching for answers and everything kind of being un unattainable like you can't figure out what happened and so you know it, it's like there's something to do here with like a conversation did you go it's about bringing things into balance here so yeah should you talk to this person well i mean if they reach out to you, like, I feel like maybe have some dialogue about what the heck happened. You know, if this person is important to you, you know, if not, well, you can just click off the reading. But I feel like try to figure out how to build something here. Come, in, come into harmony with each other about this miscommunication because I feel like it, there's a misunderstanding. And two people feel like one both people feel like the other is um you know separate separating from them or um you know being deceptive or or you know causing pain whether intentional or not intentional there so you know both people feel like maybe the other is ghosting or something you know and it, and i feel like that's not the case i feel like i'm blaming it on mercury retrograde that's it that's it that's that's where i'm going with this i think this is a a mercury retrograde issue this is a communication breakdown for sure so when does mercury retrograde end let me just double check i need to know mercury retrograde oh can i even look where the heck is my isn't it like the end of March? I think it might be like the end of, or sorry, the end of April. I think, is it April 25th? Let me just look. Hold on. Mercury retrograde dates. I believe it's April 25th. Oh, the 24th. Okay. So sometime by the end of the month for sure because we are doing the reading for april so sometime by the end of the month perhaps or um maybe yeah like around the 24th which will be a wednesday i feel like you two will there will be some type of communication unless you initiate it first but i i wouldn't kind of bank on connecting with this person during the retrograde because if you do like by phone or something like that if you, or send some kind of message or something i feel like there's going to be trouble in regards to this so i feel like everything will get sorted out you guys will come into alignment figure out what happened try to understand how to rebuild something here or just kind of come to an understanding and be like oh my gosh no i never got the message and you know that kind of thing you know it, this is a tough little thing going on here. <laughs> so it tells you, your faith is being tested for sure. Your boundaries, you know. I do see um, 
They just said sharing is caring. So I do see there maybe has a tendency to believe when another person says, but I do feel like it will come out. I feel like you will get a sense. You will somehow, you'll both understand that this was a, a, a breakdown in communication of some sort, you know, or somebody leaves a note on your car and then, I don't know, a bird grabs a hold of it and flies off with it. You know, it's like one of those freaky deaky things that's going on here. That's what I feel like. So this person is going to reach out and, and believe it or not, because of this miscommunication, this is going to cause another person to open up and express their feelings for you. Yep, expressing their emotions in some way. I really missed you or something along those lines. So this is kind of like, I feel like this is, um, this had a purpose. This, this whole miscommunication or this lack of connecting by way of this retrograde has actually or is actually causing like this was meant to happen you know it's a little peewee hermit like i meant to do that this is like like spirits like I'm, I'm doing this on purpose because it's causing a separation which is making two people kind of like reevaluate how they feel about each other and definitely for this person oh they're gonna try to they want a reunion with you they're gonna try to come in and reconnect with you for sure virgo for sure, yep. I'm free, let's go. Chasing after that pleasure, yes. Taking this blind faith, being spontaneous with each other. Wow. Okay. So, gotta love them Mercury RXs. There you guys are, coming together. So yeah, you're gonna come together. No doubt in my mind. And there will be some kind of conversation or explanation about what happened. I don't feel like somebody's ghosting you. I don't, I don't feel that energy at all. I don't feel like someone is blocking or ghosting or anything like that. I feel like there was some kind of communication or, um, or, or one person sent something to another and it didn't go through all the way or something happened. Or maybe there was blocking and when a message was sent and then when it was time to unblock, the message just disappeared. It never got delivered. Okay, twin flame. There you go. That, that explains a lot of this BS. <laughs> besides the, the Mercury retrograde, see rejection in the reverse, okay? This was not supposed to be divine protection. This situation was not supposed to, well, it's it's a misunderstanding. You weren't rejected. That's what I'm here to tell you, Virgo. <laughs> I don't feel like you were being rejected, and I don't feel like you're rejecting this person. Um, if, if the cross watcher is listening, you two are obsessed with each other. Yep, that's why the devil was there. Look, there's all that passion. Definitely. It's it's one of those, never gonna let you go. Gonna hold you in my arms forever. <laughs> That's an oldie. Oh my gosh, I don't even know who sings that song. Okay, you learn the spiritual lesson. You've got mastery here. Someone's a master. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And that's what that clock is. That divine timing. And this whole thing was meant to happen. Okay. So at some point in April, more specifically when the retrograde ends, I feel like you're, you, you, the messages will go through. Okay. So detach with love to clearly see the truth, Virgo. And the truth of the, the, truth of the message here is that this was a miscommunication. Communication breakdown. It's always the same. Having a nervous breakdown. Drive me insane. Okay, little Led Zeppelin. All right, show me other messages here for Virgo. Oh yeah, regret. Oh man, it's really triggering. Good friends. There's a trigger that's happening. New plans evolve in this in this thing here. What? The past returns. Yeah. So you know whoever your past is. You know your past could have been like the beginning or the end of the week. It could be somebody from the weekend. It could be somebody from weeks ago. However long. It's just not right now. But someone from before. Could have been. For some of you. This could have been like hours ago. Okay. Hours ago. Message didn't go through. So somebody reaches out. See if everything's all right. Yeah. I'm telling you. And I know. I know you're going to get the message. All right. Let's see what this person's Chinese sign is. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. 
ox. Year of the ox is here. Okay. All right. We've got the monkey. So an ox and a monkey. We have a dog. We have a goat. Rabbit. Dragon. A horse. The rat. We have an ox again. Did I say ox? Yes. And a rooster. Okay, you guys. Holla. That's what's happening. There's nothing else going on. That's what's happening. Communication breakdown. All right, let's see. So, the letter H, the letter E, the letter I. All right, August 25th. Someone is 38. Oh, there's my dragon ring. Again, this actually just fell. I'm not going to look at that. 1970. Someone's born in April. Could be dealing with an Aries. The letter T. The letter A. Okay, 63. The letter X. Somebody's busy doing their taxes. Let's see. Somebody's um, cutting down a tree. Someone's 34 years of age. Okay, September 9th. Someone's 53. The letter B. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Someone calls somebody babe. The letter R. Letter A. Look at all those A's. Triple A. Somebody needs to call Triple A. Or needs to get a Triple A AAA membership. We have uh, somebody 60 or 1960. 1985. Someone's 45. We have an O. Bow. <laughs> I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Somebody's born in February. Aquarius or Pisces. 1988. Okay. August 31st. We have the initial K. August or September 19th. September 6th. Or February 19th. I'm just hearing. All right. Give me a September birthday. September 1st. Okay, show me the sign of the person that Virgo is having this miscommunication call with. And September 2nd, someone is also 42. All right, we have Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, Leo. Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Aries. And one more. Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. So if, I, if that all resonates for you, great. If only absolutely none of it <laughs> resonates with you, then go back tomorrow for another reading. All right, let's see what your charms are, Virgo. Oh, there we have a, a saw, another saw. I guess it's a hacksaw. I came, I saw, I conquered. All right, so they're just telling me Boeing. Hmm, Boeing. Somebody's something to do with Boeing, flying on a, uh, taking a flight, Boeing. What the heck's this? Oh, there's a fox. What does the fox say? Ooh, somebody's foxy. And there's a train. Okay. Planes, trains, and automobiles. There's definitely some travel happening here. Um, now this saw, Hacksaw, Hacksaw Ridge. Hey, wasn't that a movie? Hacksaw Ridge. I think that was a movie. Somebody's going to a movie? Are you guys going to go to see go see a movie? When you look, there's another axe. Hmm. I don't know. You're somebody's going to go see some kind of like documentary or military movie. That's what they just said. Like there's a there's getting together. Um, and so there's an octopus here. So I'm also picking up um, like something to do with submarines. Some kind of military movie, submarines. And, um, geez. All right, maybe you're watching that right now, but I'm just, I'm just hearing, like, I, I'm kind of not hearing. The impression I'm getting is you and whoever this person is are going to see a movie together. You're going to go out to a movie. Hmm. It's interesting. It's really interesting. Let's get one more charm for Virgo. What else? What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Oh, shoot. We got a gun. <laughs> Listen, there's something to do with military. I don't know what it is. It could be a movie. Maybe somebody's in the military. I don't know. 
you got the infinity symbol that's significant to somebody if you, if you to you and you also have um like this red flower with a diamond i'm just picking up like some flat red flowers roses or any kind of red flower but there's oh my gosh it's hearts there's hearts maybe there's roses okay or someone maybe military police there's something to do with i just keep i just keep getting a movie going to see some kind of movie that's like an action movie that's what i mean it, that that's the, the gist of it there's like getting together and going to see some kind of action movie with this person i don't know if you're going or maybe you already did or, but i just see two people like the, the silhouettes sitting watching an action movie together all right, Virgo, that was short and sweet. I'm going to leave that there. If you want to get a personal reading, again, there's a link in the description box below. If you guys aren't able to access that link, um, definitely shoot me an email and let me know. I'm going to try to fix it because I think something must be wrong with the link. But anyway, yeah, book a reading with me. Text reading or a phone call. You can join my channel as well. I'd rather you join my channel. <laughs> I think that would be way better. $2.99 per month, so it's really cheap. I think I get like, I don't even know. I think I get like 75% of 75 cents of that, maybe a dollar of that, what you, you know, dollar, dollar 20, maybe when you join the rest goes to YouTube, but, um, I'm going to get a PO box. You guys, I keep talking about it, but I'm going to get one. So if anybody wants to send me stuff, um, I know a couple of people have mentioned, um, if I had like a, a a mail like an address, cause they wanted to send me some things. I don't know. You can send me anything you like, but, um, I'll get that and then I'll post that in the description box here on the videos and you'll be able to, um, yeah, if you want to send me something like a letter or I'll write you back for sure. All right, you guys. So I hope you have a great evening. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye